Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. As you can see, we found another story to talk about. We found another story to talk about about how Sheree just don't pay. It doesn't matter what she do, what she get into, what she trying to uh, show us she's about. Child, you know it was a struggle for her to finish Chateau Sheree, okay? It was a struggle, but it got done by the grace of God. I don't know how she did it, but she pulled it off, okay? And the house is in her mother's name from what I understand. So truly it's still not hers. Her credit wasn't good enough to make it do what it needed to do. Okay, but it's neither here nor there. She's in it. Okay. She needed to throw herself in that sale block. Because it don't make no damn sense that Sheree ain't going around here paying nobody. I mean nobody. Like girl, what is going on with you? Drew dropped the tea about you didn't pay for um, um, Kenya's and Marlo's little birthday thing. You wanted to do something, and you put forth an effort, saying to um Drew that she was gonna help her pay for it. But when it came down to the nitty gritty, and for you to get into your purse, your bank account, or wherever you keep your money, honey, to pay, you didn't even pay her. And she had made that very clear in her confessionals that the tab still ain't paid. Oh, Lord. Can't pay Sheree. It's going to be your new name. Your old name was She by Sheree No Fashions. Now you're going to have Can't Pay Sheree. Girl. The shade I'm sorry. The, not the shade room, but the neighborhood talk. Done got a hold of somebody that wants to speak their truth. And they are speaking it through social media. Honey, baby. We got a designer. Meaning the clothes that we saw walk, walk down that runway. Sheree uh, gave us privy to see on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Honey, the person that made those clothes are calling out Sheree Whitfield. Because she has yet to pay them. All right. The person made 40 pieces, but Sheree was saying, oh, she didn't get the five, but she wanted 22, or oh, 25, but she dropped down to 22, and she ended up with five. I like, Sheree, why don't the lies just stop? Girl, you in social media. media. People, look, that's the uh, invoice that Sheree didn't pay Drew, okay? But I like how Drew calling her ass out, like if she don't get her money for whatever reason. I mean, she can take her down to, uh, what do you call that, um, a small claims court. She can do that and get her money. Or she can keep blasting her out like she's doing and making a fool out of Sheree. Sheree, I'm beginning to think at the beginning of the season when we saw Drew and one of your ex-employees uh, that were one of your assistants, but you claim it wasn't your assistant, and he's claiming he didn't get paid for you for the time he did spend with you doing errands or whatnot, and you saying, no, I never hired him, so how can I pay him, you know, and he never did anything for me. And we were believing that shit. We were really rooting for you and believing. Somebody put salt on your name. But as it seems, you still drew. Uh, What was it? What she, I think Sheree had was 3600 Hell, it was 3600 or 2500 It was one of them. But uh, you didn't even want to pay through that. Tell me you would get her a fourth of the bill. Girl. And they ain't going to say you had put all your money into this fashion uh, fiasco. Okay. But, and it's a fiasco because we're talking about the designer that helped her get them clothes on that runway. She didn't pay them. Okay. Oh, and here I thought they came from, uh, what is it? Um, little at, what was it? No. Lipstick Alley. Not Lipstick Alley. Alley B. Y'all know that little uh, where you can buy shades and um, 
exactly. Clothing in bulk. AliExpress. That's it. AliExpress. And yes, it takes a long time. I think that should be coming from Russia or whatever. It be coming from somewhere you don't even know. And then sometimes you still get paid, uh, invoiced or sent a bill for, uh, what do you call that? Um, out the country tax or something. That's some bullshit. But anyway. I could see why it was in Alaska, Antarctica, wherever she wanted it to be. She was ordering from AliExpress. <laughs> and that's why her stuff didn't come. And then she had somebody else to try to put the embossment on it. But child, the clothes that we saw walk through that runway that didn't have, uh, not necessarily had her big logo on it. It might have had her logo somewhere in the, the actual garment. But we ain't going to go there. It's neither here nor there. We're talking about Charade and Payton's designer. And he is calling her ass out. Like, pay me, bitch. Pay me my money. Run me my run. Ugh, run me my money. You ain't got to run me nothing else. Because he already said, honey. You know how um, in the color purple, uh, I forgot what her name. I think it's Seely. She had, did that little thing with her fingers and saying, whatever you do is not going to work until you uh, make things right with me. Or something like that. Y'all get where I'm going with it. But, um. The designer, I don't know who the designer name is, okay, but they, I think it's Tyree, maybe it's Tyree, I'm not really sure, but he titled his article that he put on social media, and hopefully, well, who gonna check you, boo, is this designer, honey, that's who checking you, and he's playing chess, not checkers, you playing Uno running around now, but that's okay, that's okay, because when you find yourself in small claims court, and you are having to have to answer to these charges of why you didn't pay this person, they did all they needed to do. Your fashion show was a go plus because I've seen it myself. That's what the judge probably say, but he probably, the judge probably won't get that informal with her. But, uh, yeah, you should have paid him, Sheree. You used the clothes, did you not? I I, I think you did, baby, because I saw those runway models, okay? They weren't in their birthday suits, okay? They were in clothing, and they were modeling for you. And, you, you, and that's not right. If somebody else made your clothes, Sheree, you should have brought them on stage as well and gave them their credit due. Because you're trying to take everything, when I say everything, everything, and put it on you. You made this happen. You were the designer. You were the uh, seamstress. You know, all this shit. I'm like, come on, Sheree. We're past that point. People are putting people on blast now with the social media. And people are listening, Okay. But anyway, the designer uh, titled his uh, article, Designer Calls Sheree Out for Not Paying um, or Thanking Him for Allegedly Making Her Clothes or Pieces. Okay? I made her 40 pieces of clothing, of clothes, in less than a week. What y'all, what y'all saw last night was echoes of my years in fashion. I like, but go on, brother. Toot your own horn. Because Sheree sure, sure ain't trying to give you no credit. Okay, and on the, it seems like where they photoshopped it, uh, it had Tyree, but we couldn't get his last name. Maybe if we Google Tyree um, on the Instagram, it may show up. Okay, but anyway, he goes on to say, what kills me is it don't matter how genuine and how honest you try to be with people. They will worry about yourself and play you if they can. This lady, meaning Sheree. Housewives of Atlanta, shit by Charisse, what he calling her now, didn't have really no clothes or style for her fashion show. Not only was I on set altering clothes the day of, spent $2,500 of my own dollars to meet the deadline and make it happen. Not only she takes all the credit, never said thank you. And it was on national TV last night. And I made her finally look good out of 14 years of trying this lady still never at least just embraced me let alone pay me shaking my head i made her 40 pieces of clothes less than a week she not gonna make a dollar off that clothing line cause god don't play about me and i ain't giving her no patterns or ideas no more so that's that what y'all saw last night was echoes of my years in fashion, making people millionaires. If you knew all the companies that come to me for designs and ideas and samples, 
you would hit the floor in disbelief and said something about look I care less to be famous but pay me and respect what I do and did for you I said that damn Sheree that, that, that's where you need to close yourself up in that little prison cell that you're in the doorway of and throw away the key we'll come back and look for you maybe next season if we really wanted to it don't make no damn sense Sheree now I don't know if y'all get paid in advance for being on the show are you behind on your rent or what, girl? Well, what's, well no, you saw that pay for that house. So you ain't making no mortgage payment, I'm sure. Or I'm thinking straight. Or maybe you are. But what are you doing with the money that Bravo is paying you? That's what I want to know. And you can't use people for their talents, their time, and their creativity to your liking you cannot do that and think good things are going to follow you it's not charade it's not baby and who's going to check you but this designer's checking the hell out you and you calling yourself having a storyline with martell both y'all helping each other to stay on the shows girl don't fall for martell mess honey and we don't understand well we probably know why you feel for tyrone tyrone was probably gifting you some money but you don't want to say it all. And who knows? He might write a tell-all book or come back two months from now and really give us the tea of what relationship was between you two. But Drew ain't lied. Drew ain't lied. She still ain't got your money that you owe her, Sheree. Still. Okay, it was Tyree Lawan LLC post. Okay, so somebody got it and um, put it out there. And that's the young man that... Spent his time, his own money, his designs, and his creativity. And Sheree just shit it all over him. Now, you know that ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. And Drew is going to be there. She might still be talking about it on the reunion, how Sheree did not pay. And then somebody may come in or call in and want to ask Sheree why she didn't pay. Why this designer going online, putting her on blast, saying that he was the creator of her fashions. And yet, she didn't pay him. She didn't acknowledge him. She didn't give him kudos by bringing him on the stage like most designers do. Okay? Most designers come on the stage after the models have uh, did their runway and they, have co and they did it in completion. Then the owner... Or the designer of those said pieces would come out. And so y'all can see who or she was that produced such a fabulous line. You see what I'm saying? But you're right. Drew pegged you from the beginning of season 14. She told you that your assistant that you had, whether he worked one day or one hour with you, you didn't pay him. And he said he can't work on the hope promises and dreams because mr electric miss mr gas miss water ain't gonna hear it or miss rent they need their money so he might have been too flamboyant about expressing what he had felt about you but it seems like he was dead on spot he was targeted on spot of what you do to people you get them to do work for you and then when it's time to pay like can you say it chateau can't play can't pay and that's that's terrible it's terrible business sense you would never get anybody to work with you and to uh put stuff up front where you don't have to pay them until the things are all done you know what i'm saying nobody's going to want to work with you sheree so hopefully this is your uh first and last situation because the clothes are just too expensive and they look cheap okay <sighs> why couldn't you well you're not a designer that's why because i was gonna say why you didn't try to work with uh an athletic company footwear uh like champs or um dog, i can't think of them right now when i'm trying to think of them uh, shoot i can't think of it y'all y'all help me out foot locker um you know clothing stores that have athletic gear uh, that they're sporting like the um what do you call it the jogging suits the t-shirts the sh tennis shoes any of those uh athletic type of apparel would be found in one of those uh shops that i just named 
But I'm just trying to figure out, Sheree, 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 these people ain't going to play with you. Okay, this man seems like he is very much so for real. Okay, very, very for real. So I think you need to run him his money before he run you a, a little silver lawsuit, okay? And you don't need all that. You don't need all that because you're on a platform where I don't know if they pay you middle half or they give you the money up front or you get it at the end of taping. I'm not sure. But you need to have a heart. You need to have a good conscience about yourself and make it right. Make it do what it do. Pay that man his money, girl. Because he already told you, you don't pay him. God don't like ugly. Your um, jogging or athletic wear line is not going to profit you. It's going to become a, a thorn in your side. But I tell you right now. Shoot, we didn't pay no three hundred dollars for Cynthia Bayless eyeglass wear, and I think they're they're like less than a hundred dollars now. You can buy some of them for when all of them were overpriced. Same thing with your shit. Have you not heard of the working middle class or the working poor people? Okay, we need stuff like thirty nine ninety nine forty nine ninety nine fifty nine ninety nine. However you want to see it. Okay, you can have some shit for nineteen ninety nine. But to have a line you didn't pay for, and I know you had to pay for the models, or oh, we're going to hear something about that too, because they be wanting their money, and I think that's what you had. You probably spent his money on them damn models. But Rowan wasn't playing with you. She said what the deal was. So I'm pretty sure the models got paid. Now, uh, you hadn't paid the man who actually took his time and attention and creativity uh, what else you didn't pay for? You ain't paid through her money. Uh, for the little soiree y'all threw for Kenya and, um, Marlo. Mmm. Girl, you need to just get your house in order for real. For real, for real. But anyway, guys, um, that's pretty much what I have for this particular episode or, um, video. It's a shame that Everything that's done in the dark will come to light. And like I said, this man ain't playing with you, Sheree. Right. He ain't playing with you. And now you don't got another stain on what we wanted to celebrate for you. You don't got another blemish on your record. Because you didn't pay the man. And the man's out here telling everybody you didn't pay. We're going to start calling you can't pay Sheree. Right. Or won't pay Sheree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. But that's all I got for this video, guys. And y'all get down in the comments. Y'all put down what y'all thought about this new news going on. That Sheree really ain't paying her people. Now, we knew she wasn't doing something back in the day when she was trying to build Chateau Sheree. And contractors were suing her because she wasn't paying her bill to them. So, we know she was in litigation with all of that. Now it seems like she's going to be in litigation with this man trying to get his 2500 back that he spent out of pocket for making her uh, uh, items that she wanted to showcase during her fashion show. And then what he was supposed, supposed to be paid for doing it. So see, she got to reimburse him for that as well. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Sheree Unlucky Whitfield. Sheree, don't pay with fear. I mean, could you have not borrowed the money? If you didn't want to buy, borrow it from your cast members, could you not have borrowed it from your ex-husband? Or can you have not borrowed it, if you borrow it from Tyrone? If you kind of went too fast, you probably could have got some money from him to pay your debt and then, you know, went on about your business. But then he probably, well, I don't think he probably would have sued you because he, he's in the system now. <laughs> he's a little fella running around here. Don't got released, so... He don't want to get in too much of anything. But I have to tell you, totally, totally disappointed. And Sheree, if this is definitely true, totally, totally embarrassed for her. But, you know, that's how you call people out. When you l literally try to work it off camera, try to work it behind closed doors on a situation to benefit you far as getting your money she didn't want to do that so when all else fails you blast them out and that's what she uh he's doing to miss Sheree. 
all right but y'all get down in those comments let me know what y'all thought about this new addition added to uh she by sheree clothing line and that she really didn't do anything she had somebody to do it for her and yet she did not pay them nor give them credit for their work that they had uh what was being shown during her fashion show she should have just brought that person on out and they both walked down the aisle of the uh, stage and get their props you see what i'm saying but fuckery foolishness fraudulent fakery fuckery behavior sheree gave us is what we were left with but as you can see everything that's done in the dark will come to light and we're here with sheree don't pay sheree don't pay her bills okay and i will see y'all next video bye bye